What is up, Evil Dead fans? This is simply just an updated video for the Evil Dead 1 book sculpt that I'm doing to make covers. Now, if you're wondering if there is a possibility of a mold popping out later down the line, like the Lineage Evil Dead 2 book has popped out um, for the Evil Dead 1 book, unfortunately, that will not happen uh, because it was made simply from latex, paper, and the prosthetics that they use on Scotty's face. The burning book was different from the one that you see initially when Ash opens it up, but uh, there was never a mold made of that one. Uh, the only one that was ever molded was the recreation Tom that Tom made, Tom Sullivan. So if you're thinking that's ever gonna happen, it won't happen. Even his re-sculpt that he did that he sold, that mold broke. So for an Evil Dead one book, you won't find the original ever popping out again, as far as I know. Uh, so let's look over some details. Now I finished the mouth. Looks really, really good. I finished the spine all the way down. And I will show you here in a little bit the defining line for the front. Now big this book actually will be. Now, the question does linger around, can you use this? Let's say you have the DVD version of Evil Dead 1 that has the cover on that's latex and say it's rotten away. Can you replace that cover with this? The answer is yes. The only thing is you gotta remember, this spine is way bigger. So if you get one of these covers, you wanna replace that DVD cover because it's rotten away, you can do that. You can literally just get this whole damn thing, cut out the face, glue it on, paint it up, you're done. Or you can take out sections from the front to the back and do it that way. So it can replace the DVD cover because it is the size of a DVD case, basically. The front and the back is, except you have a one and a half inch spine, so that does change things up, so you will have to do a lot of cutting and fitting, but you can do that. So let's look at some of the uh, details here. You do have a lot of depth places very happy with how everything's going now let's talk a little bit about the details in the overlap taking a closer look the one thing you're going to notice is a lot of overlap and the reason why I'm doing all that overlap is there's not a lot of good shots of the inside of the Evil Dead 1 book and the only thing we have to go by is Tom's recreation of the book that he sold. It had a lot of overlap on that side. And I tried to match that up as close as possible. So one side has something like this. And it's in a square shape so it can be cut down. And I put a lot of axis on it so a lot can be cut up and taken off when it is finally installed. And the way that Tom did his recreation is he took this side over here, flopped that over first, then did the top and the bottom, and actually covered that, but it was cut in a certain uh, pattern. So I made, there, made sure there was enough that it could be cut down to the proper look that was needed. Let's see some of the line right here at the edge of the book. And I did make sure that if a line came over here, it did cross over some way, somehow to the other side. You can see it kind of gets a little veiny right here. Uh, the white spots or is exactly where I just grinded things down to make it a little more refined. But I still have this up here these two lines are the spines the spine section is done and I used pictures of the spine given to me by Ryan Lewis and now Briardi uh, to match that up as close as possible again it's not gonna be 100% but it's gonna be damn close just more looks on that Now, let's look at the actual size of the cover. 
Okay, let's check out the sizing. Now it looks pretty big right there, but let's see. It's the same size as a DVD case. That way, and also this way. Where it's taped off, that will be the front of the cover. So if you get one of these covers or you get a book when Al does the books, that's the size you're gonna get, the proper size. Because it was quite a small book. Let's look a little bit on the details here. And again, the reason why I have so many details into it is when you make the mold of this, you have to use Vaseline, things like that, or some kind of release factor. Uh, so you will lose a little bit of detail. So I'm putting so much detail into this so you get as much as possible. But that right there would be the front cover. Of course, you will have the rollover on top to bottom in that side and the spine. So you will have details through that part as well. Now let's take a little bit of a different look and change the lighting and give it some shadow and show you how deep the details are and what to expect if you get this cover or get this book. Uh, of course, like I said, some details will be lost. They will be a lot more shallower just because uh, the way a mold is made, but that's why these are so deep. So let's change the light. Well, there you go, Evil Dead fans. This is the update on the Evil Dead 1 cover sculpt. And uh, stick around for the final result and then eventually the full book. Till next time, stay groovy.